Pat Muller here with Legend Brands talking to you today a little bit about becoming a spot and stain removal expert. Some of the things that are really important for you as an expert spot and stain remover is to understand the difference bef between an organic dye stain and a synthetic dye stain. Organic dye stains are going to be derived basically from your coffees, your red wines, that type of stain. Or your synthetics are going to be more of your Kool-Aid, your fruit juices, and your sports drinks. And your ability to differentiate that between the two of them makes your job as a stain removal expert very easy. So when it comes to removing dyes, what we really need to understand is, what is color? Color in a dye is just a chemical that alters the way that fibers or material absorb and reflect light. By adding oxygen or taking oxygen away, what we do in turn is, is actually neutralize the chemistry that that dye has put on the carpet, causing the carpet fiber to change, alter, absorb or reflect light at a different, different rate. The customer tells us that this is a Kool-Aid stain and it's been there approximately a week and she hasn't touched it. So now we've identified it's a synthetic dye, so we know we're going to use our Red Exit product because red means color stripper. Now I know that the red exit is not going to work as effectively on the red wine stain because it's organic, where it's going to work very effectively on our Kool-Aid stain, which is a synthetic. So the process is quite simple. With your red exit, we're going to begin to apply a little bit of the product over the stained area. Now this isn't something we really need to saturate in, but what you're going to notice is that we automatically begin to see a color change. So by tamping that in, making sure I have complete coverage. You notice we begin to see color change almost immediately. So as you can see, we're making a lot of good progress with the stain on the carpet here. So a little more blotting action. We can see that we got almost all the color gone from the tips here. Again, what I'm trying not to do is over agitate the carpet. I don't want to disturb the fiber bundles. So one of the great ways to test and see if you're really ready or almost complete with this is to go ahead and do a rinse. Now all I'm going to be doing is rinsing with water at this point in time. All right, so now that we've done our extraction, one of the things that I like to do is just fold the fiber back a couple different ways so I can make sure that I've actually removed all the variant dye from the fiber. So if we take a look at it, we really notice the difference. We can see that line of demarcation where I stopped using the product as opposed to where I did use the product. So looking at the results that we've achieved using the right product, what it does is it just shows us knowing exactly what the dye was, organic versus synthetic, and exactly which product I need to use, or your reducing agent or your oxidizing agent, makes you that spot and stain removal expert.